another quarterback that I really hadn't trusted or I had my doubts about was Tom Brady. Especially after game one, he hadn't looked the same. He looked kind of old. People are questioning his arm. He's 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 over forty. That game, that game yesterday against the Chargers, Brady looked amazing. Brady brought them back. He threw an ugly pick six at the beginning of the game, which was which got like all of Twitter going. Got everybody talking about Brady. Everybody was like, "Okay, there it is. He's done. This is all the evidence we need." Like, he can't throw no more. This is. This is like his fourth pick six in his last six games going back to last season. But then Brady turned it on. Brady turned it on. Uh, he looked good after that throw. He started connecting with people down the field. Godwin was out. O.J. Howard got hurt, and he's done for the season. So he was losing weapons. He was losing weapons. Um, he has The offseason was, was weird because of COVID. He hasn't gotten those reps against – uh, with all these wide receivers that he has and now they're f- falling down like flies and he still got it done he threw five touchdowns he, he had over 100 yards with mike evans i believe he's starting to get that connection going he just looked good man he looked good he looked good the bucks the bucks if, if brady could play like this the bucks are going to be a super super tough out for anybody i'm excited to see if brady could keep this up he, he's the goat Growing up, I always I always liked Manning over Brady. Like I I don't know why, I just like Manning's like pre pre um, pre huddle or like pre snap. He like I like his pre snaps, like audibles. I like like how he played the game. I liked all his hand signals, all that stuff. So I was more of a Manning than Brady guy. But I cannot deny that Brady is the goat. Brady is the best quarterback of all time. He's the most accomplished. The things he has, he has done are just some of them are unfathomable, unfathomable, and uh, or now if he, if he if he goes on a deep playoff run with the Bucks, it's just like okay, like he's just he's just pushing himself so much further out from anybody, and and he's probably motivated because Mahomes from the Chiefs looks like he could potentially push Brady's uh status for the for the all time best quarterback. So yeah, I mean it was it was nice to see Brady. It was nice to see Brady uh, have a good game. It was, it was pretty like eye catching. I was, I was watching the game and I was like, "Damn, like he's forty three. Like what? That's crazy. He's playing way better than like all these other." Which, which, kind of got me thinking. Like, if the Niners would have traded for him, how how good would they be right now? Which is a it's a topic for a different story. But Brady, I mean, th- I, I've seen analysts say that this is an anomaly that Brady's arm is done. That he hasn't been able to throw like this since like twenty eighteen, twenty seventeen. That this was just like a, like once in a blue moon that he he's gonna have a good game like this and that he's gonna, he's gonna regress to like being an old old quarterback that can't push the ball down the field, but we'll see we'll see out. The one thing I've learned through my years of watching football is that you don't bet against Brady. <laughs> you just don't. If you're trying to lose money, bet against Brady, because he he figures out how to get stuff done. And uh, but yeah, the Bucks look good. As far as the Chargers go in that game, Herbert looked really, really nice. The Chargers have found their quarterback. I was a little bit skeptical on Herbert just because it looked like he was super raw. It looked like they kind of got him too early. That they they could have gotten somebody else further down the draft, and they would have had almost the same value. But shout out to the Chargers. They found their quarterback. He looks really, really good. Him, him, and Joe Burrow have just looked really, really solid to start their 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 uh, careers off um herbert especially joe burrow it's not so much of a surprise just because he's he's older he's a little bit older um his, his game is more refined he, he people were saying that maybe his ceiling wasn't as high but his floor was super high just because he's just a, a really good thrower of the football but herbert herbert looked herbert has looked great man he's, he's making down the field throws uh he's he's throwing the ball to like receivers that like they're not big names obviously keenan allen is a, is a big name but he was throwing passes to like receivers that i don't even know their names he was making that offensive click the chargers actually look like a like a decent offense with him on the field um i watched like the first game with tyrod taylor and it just looked bad it looked like it looked like the offensive coordinator couldn't call all the plays that he wanted it looked like they were very limited in what they could do just because tyrod taylor for all the everyone always you know celebrates how much of a professional he is and how 
good of a teammate he is. And that's fine and all. I respect Tyrod Taylor, but his game is very limited. He's he, If you have him as your starting quarterback, you're not really aspiring to do much of anything in the NFC, NFL season. You're just, you're just an irrelevant team, in my opinion, if you have Tyrod Taylor as your starting quarterback. That's why I was like, I still have a lot of Charger friends and Charger homies, and I'm from San Diego, so... I know they're not in San Diego, but I'm from San Diego, so I like that was the team I rooted for when they were there. So I, I still have a lot of Chargers like news and feeds like on my Twitter or stuff like that. And I was just uh, op- opposed to getting Tyrod Taylor as a starting quarterback. I was either you get a rookie QB and and you let them do their thing, or you get Cam Newton. And and Coach Lynn obviously liked Tyrod Taylor a lot, but it's unfortunate that the doctor punctured his his lung while trying to give him a shot and that it sucks that he's going to lose his job because of that because that's super unfortunate like that shouldn't happen ever but the way Herbert has been playing there's no denying that he's the offense and and the team as a whole is is better with him and if coach Lynn doesn't doesn't do that change if if Tyrod Taylor comes back and and he keeps his job I know he's going to lose the locker room I feel like he's already losing their locker room he's already losing the fans but if Lynn starts Tyrod Taylor I think Charger fans should, you know, riot. Should go do something. <laughs> should, should, uh, oh, tweet at him. Not, not hurt the man, but they should, they should voice their opinion on how, what a bad decision that would be. Because with Tyrod Taylor, the Chargers are just another AFC mediocre, mediocre team that no one really cares about. No one's really worried. With Justin Herbert, the Chargers could be potentially like a uh, a thorn and on team's size they could they could spoil a season for somebody they could steal a game from somebody and ruin their season they have the potential to be that team i don't think the chargers are going to make the playoffs they just it's too early in herbert's career and coach land might not be the best coach to get the job done but they could definitely spoil a season or two for some teams that are vying for those wild card spots so if i'm the chargers bench tyra taylor apologize to him Send him some flowers and cookies. Tell him that the the puncturing of his lung was super accidental. That it's never going to happen again. Hopefully he doesn't sue you guys. But Justin Herbert, he should be either starting quarterback moving forward. And the future is bright for that kid. He looks great. He throws the ball with a lot of confidence. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for my Charger, all my Charger friends. It looks like you guys now have a legit quarterback. And, yeah, he looks good.